so I just thought I should share how much I've been spending on this car a month. Um, yeah, the, I've been through some ups and downs with the car, but petrol wise, yeah, it stays consistent depending on how I drive though. Um, so I thought it should be a good idea for me to share. It's hot as fuck. Okay, so I'm gonna be checking how much I've been spending um, using the FNB app. It has a breakdown of how much you've been spending on almost everything from groceries to, I don't know, your internet packages anything um fnb is tracking you they're tracking you so it is under um navigate e-life money and then you go to day-to-day -day spending and then you go to fuel and that's where you're gonna see a breakdown of how much you've been spending on your car fuel wise um i have seen though that they are tracking the top um, petrol stations in south africa so your total bp um sasol engine um shell they are gonna be here but some of the ones that are not so known might not be here um yeah let's get into it so um for the month of november in 2021 no 2020 2020 yeah november 2020 this is why i bought the car of that year 2020 i spent only 800 rents on petrol and this is from the 17th of november to the 26th of november only bought 800 rents um so yeah so in november i spent 800 rents um and this does make sense because i fetched the car on the 17th of november and then um what happened i did not drive the car for a week so i only drove the car when i was going home in pumalanga um fine when they so it does kind of make sense that i spent 800 rands in november though i may have spent cash in some instances and i may have used my other bank account bank accounts or bank cards for some other transactions and then in november in december i mean things are starting to you know um things are starting to get interesting i spent 2.6 um from the 27th of november to the 26th of december so 27th november i spent 150 i doubt i bought 150 rands of petrol maybe i bought some snacks i don't know and then 300 rands is like my usual um amount or it's like the usual amount that i spend usually so i'll just pour 300 rands or i used to pour 300 bucks regularly so two second of the of december 300 bucks 7th december 300 bucks 9th december 300 bucks 11 300 300 and then on the 22nd of december i spent 500 rands and i would only pour more than 300 rands when i'm going on a long distance trip so i bet i was going to Mpumalanga when i spent 500 bucks and then two days later i spent 500 bucks again which i probably spent i think at home still in Mpumalanga. cool and then in january the month of the broke we like we usually broke this month <laughs> so from the 28th of december 400 bucks um 28 400 bucks and then same day 300 bucks i don't know what was going on here i don't know weird and then on the 2nd of january um i must have been with my girl in centurion spent 300 rands that's that's the usual for december 300 5 december 300 okay so i've had some issues with my iphone storage um so i'm not i'm not gonna be recording from my hawaii already the, the quality is not great already the quality is bad but what can we do um i just yeah i'm just gonna record i'm just gonna use my iPhone. okay we're on again um and i think we were on february so yeah in Feb, I spent 2.3 on petrol, which was not bad. So we're just going to move to March. We're just going to move on to March. In March, things were getting a bit interesting. I think it was level one, if not level two of lockdown. And yeah, we started going out more, I guess. Um, 
and that's how I got to spending 4.6 in March. And for the breakdown, just gonna go down to the 27th of February, spent 400 rands, and then 1st of March, spent 300, and then 1st of March again, spent 135, which I think was snacks, maybe not petrol snacks. And then on the 2nd of March, 300 again. And mind you, I had just poured 300 the previous day. Okay, right, cool. Two days later, I poured 300. And then two days later, again, I poured 300. And this was the trend that was that I was okay with. Because I knew that when going to work, I would spend um, 300 rands every two days. And that's only if I was going to work almost every day. I knew that I was going to spend 300, two days later, 300, which was fine with me. Why did I not pour a full tank? I don't know. I don't know. Um, on the 9th, which was three days later, 300 again. On the 13th, 300. 16 March, 300. I think I was going to work every day, if not almost every day, because this is insane, right? 16 March, again, 300 rands. Yo, 20 March, 300 bucks. 300, 300, 300. 23 March, 250. 25 March, 300. March was a busy month, but April. Mm, mm, mm. This again was probably um, lockdown level one or level two. Because there's no way I spent 7k on petrol. Yo. Okay, for the breakdown. Um, on the 27th of March, just before we begin April. 300 rent, 27th, 300, 30 March, 400. 1st of April, 200. So we're starting off the month easy. We're starting it easy. On the 1st of April, again, I spent 200. So maybe I was like, oh, in Libangeni, um, this was probably home. And then when I go to Blue Hills, I spend 200. Odd, but okay. Um, 1st of April again, 300. 3rd of April, 300. 300. 500. No, 400. What the fuck am I saying? Okay, so waterfall, I spent 400 rents. And then on the 3rd of April, I spent 500 rents. On the 6th, of April, I spent 600. Things were bees, but I think I was home because Lufantin is in, in Pumalanka, so I think I was home. Um, 300, 600, 300, 300. Like, I hardly ever pour 600 rands of petrol when I'm in Gauteng. Hardly ever, unless I'm going home. So to spend 600 bucks in Moy River, no ways. Blue Hills, 300. Same day, 300 rands in Bryanston. Hmm. And then I think 46 bucks. I was either broke, 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 or this or these were snacks, but I think they were snacks. Um, because I was, yo. 17 April I spent 600 rands. 19th of April I spent 600 rands. 20 April, 300, 200, 300. All in all, for the month of April, I spent the highest I've ever spent, which is 7,000 rands, 346 rands. Yeah, I know. Things were hectic. Okay, moving moving on to May. Um, starting off easy. So in May we spent two point nine, which is cool. No, back to average. Um, three hundred bucks, two hundred, three hundred, three hundred, two hundred, two hundred, five hundred and five. Same day I spent three hundred rands. Hmm, weird. And then six May, three hundred bucks, and then seven hundred and seventy two. In May, May was not so interesting. Then go back to June, we're spending 2.7. So we're going down, like we, we're going easy. It's easy now. Um, 31st of May, I think these were snacks. Uh, and then the 300 rands was the petrol. And then on in June, started off, started, started off with 400 bucks. And then same day, 300 bucks. Rachel, do what, what? This is in mid-mark. So spent 300 bucks. Okay, 1st of June, 300 bucks. Mm, I spent a lot of petrol on the 1st of June. Why? I don't know. 400, 300, 300, 300. And then on snacks. Okay, fine. 
seven days later 300 bucks and then buy snacks and then the first of june 300 bucks 22 june 450 and then 23rd hey i was either broke or i was buying snacks <laughs> and then in june um spent 400 rents on the 21st of june of july i mean yeah, I spent 400 rents on the 1st of July. 21st of July, I spent 400 bucks. What am I saying? And then on the 26th of July, I spent 104. And then things were good. And this was when my car had cracked engine mounts. Um, full story is in this video. Just, just going to pop up here. So yeah, my mounts cracked. I was not driving the car for the rest of july it was at the dealership um yeah sucks but i saved some good money and then in august we spent 4.1 so we got the car back in july or the first of august somewhere there and i was just starting my new job even though i did not go there every day but to spend 4.1 mm, that's deep okay so 21st i mean 27th of july um 72 rands must have been on snacks and on the 29th of july to spend 1.1 on petrol this is a first ever i've never intentionally spent more than 1.1 on petrol it's usually 600 bucks when i'm going home or 300 bucks when i'm in the city otherwise nope but okay cool 29 and then a few days later we spent 300 so we're getting back to the normal program now in august the day after 300 okay poch of storm so i was probably fetching my girlfriend or i was dropping her off and then on the 7th of august 400 bucks 10th 200 same day 400 four days later 300 a few days later 300 okay 26 august 600 bucks so Though it's high, I think it's because I went to Porch and I also went home. I'm not sure. I think that's why it was so high. But then again, things are now starting to get to an incline. So in September, we spent 4.9 or I spent 4.9 rather. 21st of August, um, I poured 400 bucks. On the 2nd, I spent 300. On the 3rd of September, 600 bucks. Maybe I was going home, but... Key West, I was probably going to fetch my girlfriend. Um, 300 bucks, 600 bucks, same day. So this is around, is it 900? 900 bucks in a day. And then the next day, 600. That's deep. That's deep if you ask me. And then in Oliven, 300. Three days later, I spent 300. Um, a day later, I spent 300. Same day, I spent 400 so you're wild and then on the 16th of september 300 17 300 not bad not bad on the 20th of september 600 a day later 300 a day later 300 mm. steep and then october yeah this is the current month um it says i've spent i've spent 4.6 so far which is i don't I don't want this to be the average like i want the average to be that 2600 rands that we were spending just before july i want that to be the average not 4000 rands but on the 1st of october i poured 700 and somehow on the same day i poured 600 rands that's crazy and then a few days later 300 a day later 700 Two days later, 600. Two days later, again, 600. 12th of October, 400. Okay, here I was getting snacks with the 70 bucks. 12th October, 400. 14th, 300. Like, these are not um, that many transactions, but still, I spent a lot. Um, yeah, for 4,600 for so... I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. But otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, that's how much I spent on this car. Um, it's a 2013 MK3 Ford Focus ST. Uh, would I still recommend anyone to buy the car? I think I would. It's a good car. 
you just have to be careful fuel wise um, if you don't want to be spending too much on petrol you obviously have to drive it like a granny but um, if you are me you're probably going to be launching an every robot which is not recommended but yeah buy this car